of the Salvation Army. God bless. Thank you. I feel it a great privilege to be able to share in the service of rededication today. Rather than be lost in obscurity, this memorial is being placed where it will stand as a constant reminder of the courage and the sacrifice of so many who came to the aid of this country in the dark days of the 1940s. We've all been, already been reminded this morning in the and I remind you again that in excess of 1,000 men did not return from their mission. And many of those who did return were scarred in body and mind for the rest of their lives. The loved ones, the families of these men, many little more than boys, also paid a great price for this nation and the free world. This memorial honours each and every one. As the words on the stone say, some returned, others did not. All served and fought for freedom. In recent days I've read the stories of some of these men and have been deeply moved by the courage and the loyalty of each one of them. This memorial not only stands for the men who served here, but also reminds us of the reason they came and the cause that they fought for. They lived, fought, and died for liberty and freedom to live in peace, for truth and righteousness in the face of evil, for justice and honour in the face of greed and desire for supremacy. Let us stand in silent tribute as we pledge again we will remember them and all who lived and died in the cause of war. There's a few moments of quietness please. We dedicate this memorial to the glory of God and in the honour of the men of the 360th Bombardment Group of America. Let us pray. Dear loving Heavenly Father of mankind, we come to you in the name of Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life, and give to you the thanks for the men of the 360th Bombardment Group who left the security of their home and country to stand beside the people of the United Kingdom in the cause of justice and freedom. Today, we honour their courage. We honour their commitment. May we never forget the many sacrifices that were made and we commit to your safekeeping. All who have died in war and in the service of mankind. In the name of Jesus our Saviour, we ask this. Amen. Let us pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. <laughs>